Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with TK. Today you guys, we are going to make a delicious steak dinner. The way that I created this steak dinner, anyone can make this steak dinner. Okay you guys, hit that subscribe button. Please hit that notification bell and leave lots of comments down below throughout this video and share this video out with each and every one that you know because you will be able to make this delicious steak dinner with mushroom and onion gravy and prepare your cauliflower um, broccoli and carrots California blend with some delicious cheese sauce let's get it let's go okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to season up my steaks I have some longhorn steak seasoning use whatever steak seasoning that you guys have we are going to marinate our steaks so that's why I am seasoning up my steaks. I have different steaks. I have porterhouse, two cowboy steaks, and I have one Wagyu, American Wagyu steak, okay? So that's what I have, four steaks in my bowl. I also gonna use some um, black pepper. Okay, you guys, as you can see here, I am going to be generous with my black pepper and my Longhorn Steak Seasoning. Um, I got that Longhorn Steak Seasoning at the Dollar Tree. You know, sometimes you can find amazing stuff at the Dollar Tree. Okay. Also, I'm going to add some accent to my steaks. And these will be the seasonings um, that I use to help marinate my steaks. Okay. So after I use those three seasonings, I have two onions that I cut up. As you can see here, I have them cut into rings. I don't have them cut any special kind of way. And I'm going to place these onions between each one of these steaks that I have here in my bowl. So I'm gonna make sure all the steaks are covered with onions, okay? Next, I'm going to use about three tablespoons of garlic because of the amount of steaks that I have, you guys. So these are minced garlics from a jar. Also, I'm going to add in some EVOO, some extra virgin olive oil, like so. If you do not have extra virgin olive oil, remember, you can use vegetable oil um, or canola oil. I'm going to rub my steaks to make sure that the seasoning, the um, garlic, and the onions all get evenly distri distri distributed <laughs> on my steaks. Okay, you guys. So now that we have our steaks seasoned up with the onions and everything, we are going to place a lid on these steaks. And I'm going to place them in my fridge for at least three hours you guys can marinate them for at least one hour okay or 24 hours next I'm going to prepare my potatoes the first thing I do is make sure that I peel my potatoes I'm using five potatoes okay because I have four steaks I'm gonna use five potatoes because of the amount of people that will be eating the steak dinner Make sure that you place your potatoes in medium or warm water so that they do not um, turn brown. Okay, here I have me a potato wedge cutter. That's right. These potatoes are cut with this potato wedge cutter. Um, I got this potato wedge cutter from Sheen, which is a website, S-H-E-I-N, and I only pay 98 cents for this potato cutter. It's also like a potato chip cutter, but it cuts your potatoes into um, ridges. As you can see that I have ridges in the potatoes, okay? So I'm gonna finish cutting up these potatoes. Now that I have all of my potatoes cut up, I emptied the water out of the bowl, and now I'm going to season up my potatoes. I'm using this steak seasoning by McCormick, I'm using some garlic powder as well, okay? And for each one of these seasonings, I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of each. Also, I'm going to use black pepper and be generous with the black pepper. Um, the black pepper, the garlic, and the steak seasoning by McCormick is gonna add some extreme 
flavors to your potatoes. And yes, I did add paprika. Remember, paprika is for color. This is not smoked paprika or Hungarian paprika. It's just regular paprika. And I added a drizzle of EVOO, which means about three tablespoons of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. And now I am going to make sure I get seasoning on all the potatoes by shaking them up, okay? Now that we have our potatoes seasoned up, you guys, we are going to get ready to bake them, okay? Preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and we're going to bake these potatoes for 30 minutes. Remember, in between the 30 minutes, 15 minutes, please turn your potatoes over, okay? So now I'm going to get ready to make my cheese sauce. Here I have two tablespoons of butter melted. And to the two tablespoons of butter, I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour to create a roux. Okay, so I have my roux and I have allowed that roux to cook for about five minutes, stirring it constantly. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in every bit, two cups, listen, two cups of heavy whipping cream for my cheese sauce. Okay, I'm going to allow that to warm up for a few minutes and mix in my roux with my heavy whipping cream very well. Then we're going to go in and we're going to add in some black pepper. Remember to season to your liking and your taste. And I'm going to add in a chicken bouillon. Cheese sauce is nothing without some kind of flavor. And trust me, you guys, that bouillon packet um, by Goya is enough for this seasoning. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to add in one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Yes, y'all, you cannot make a delicious cheese sauce for our vegetable blend, our California blend, or even if you're doing it for baked macaroni and cheese without Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to go in and add in about a cup and a half of Velveeta cheese, um, the blocks, um, I would just say two cups of Velveeta cheese for the blocks, okay? And I cut them up into cubes, even size cubes. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some mozzarella. I'm going to add in about one fourth cup of mozzarella. Okay, you guys? Or a half a cup. Let's say a half a cup of mozzarella. And what I'm going to do after adding all of my cheeses, I'm going to allow these cheeses to melt down. And I'm going to continuously stir these cheeses, okay? Until everything is incorporated, melted down, and blended. And I'm going to stir it constantly. You can stir with a fork or a wire whisk. Here we have our cheese sauce. It is completed and it is done, everyone. Ta-da! Also, we have our potato wedges. They are done as well. These are roasted potato wedges. Tastes very delicious, just a different twist instead of having a baked potato every time you cook steak. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's make our California blend. I got this bag at the Dollar Tree. It was $1. They're also a dollar at Walmart, and they serve four people. Put you into a pot, one-fourth cup of water to one-half cup of water. And what you're going to do is you're going to add your California blend mix in. The California blend mix consists of broccoli florets, cauliflower florets, and carrots. Okay, you guys? And we are going to allow this boiling water to come back to a boil with the vegetables. Then we're going to turn it down to a simmer. We're going to put a lid on it, and we're going to allow this to cook five to seven minutes, and our vegetables will be done. After five to seven minutes of our vegetables being cooked, they are done. Drain the water, season with salt and black pepper to taste, okay? So our California blend mix is done. Now, let me go ahead and get ready to get started on cooking our steaks. Here I have a searing pan. You can use a cast iron skillet or whatever pan that you have that you like to cook your steaks on, but make sure that you heat your pan up to high and Baste your pan with some vegetable oil like I just did. I'm going to lay my marinated steaks into this hot pan. I have it cooked on high. Make sure you have your fan on above 
your um, stove when cooking these steaks. Okay, this is a searing pan. I got the searing pan from Walmart. We are going to cook these steaks. This is a cowboy steak and a porterhouse steak that I have down here, okay? We're gonna cook them for five minutes on each side because we're trying to get between medium and well done. These steaks are two inches thick. We're gonna cook them on five minutes on this side and now we're gonna get ready to flip them over after the first five minutes. Voila, now <clears throat> we're gonna do our second five minutes for our steaks. You guys, okay? And this is how we're gonna accomplish between getting a medium into a well done steak, okay? If you want them to cook them longer, you can because these steaks are very thick. Okay, so now I'm on to the third steak. Remember, I'm cooking four steaks. So here for my third steak, I have a American Wagyu beef steak. American Wagyu beef steak. And when it comes to American Wagyu steak, it only ta really takes two minutes per side. If you want it to um, become extremely well done, try to cook this for five minutes on each side. And as you can see, the searing pan that I'm using um, makes great marks, grill marks, as if though we cooked it outside on the grill. Okay, so now that we have our steaks um, done, I place them in a pan. And I have my oven preheated to 450 degrees. And I'm going to cook these steaks for about eight more minutes. No longer, okay? So now after taking our steaks out of the oven, after eight minutes, we are going to allow these steaks to rest. Trust me, these steaks are still tender. They are extremely juicy. You can see the juice in the pan. And I made some mushroom gravy in the back, I got the mushroom gravy out of a jar. I didn't make it from scratch today. And all I did was add those onions into the pan with the mushroom gravy that I had cooked over my steaks in the oven. And voila, hoo -wee. Now, go ahead and add some salt and pepper to your steaks. And I'm gonna add that um, McCormick Perfect Pitch seasoning on my steaks as well. Or um, if you have that Longhorn steak season like I got, you can go in and slap some of that on there. Just add a little bit more of your steak seasoning. Just be generous and don't over salt. Okay, you guys. So here we have our delicious steak dinner with potatoes. And we have some delicious California blend veggies with some cheese sauce that we made. And I had some bacon and I just crumbled that bacon up and placed it on top of our California blend with cheese sauce that we made from scratch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I topped that steak with that mushroom gravy and you guys, this meal was delicious. My family really enjoyed it. The steaks were still juicy. Um, they were not at overcooked. They all ended up being medium well. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to my channel for another video and give this video a big thumbs up. Peace. Have a great day.